What's up everyone? Good morning, good morning. It's morning, well, it's like almost noon now, but we are about to head off to a wedding up in Asheville, well, near Asheville. It's about two and a half hours. Asheville can be like three, three and a half, depending on where you're going over there, because there's not many roads. Today, I actually remembered my cameras, and we're gonna be doing a whole vlog today. Getting the stuff taken care of on the Vibo this morning, making sure all the planning stuff is taken care of again if you guys didn't know i use vibo for everything i'll link down below some info if you guys want to go check it out but it's like the ultimate planning tool it syncs in with my computer so that way i can make all of my song suggestions which it'll populate here in a second see it'll match them i go to like open dancing so basically i go through and i select all of the tracks that i have that match this criteria and then i can download it or export it to spotify really cool but it makes planning very simple for our guest and if you guys want some proof in the pudding as to vibo go check out fusion sound and lighting go check out our reviews on google wedding wire the knot literally every review if not every other review is ranting and raving about the app feature that we have for our clients if you guys want a way to up your game with your competitors check out Bible. but anyways we're gonna i'm already loaded up i loaded up yesterday gabe's here playing with the dog and uh we're about to load up and well get on the road we got a, a long drive ahead of us and a long drive back what up noel what up noel <laughs> I already loaded up everything yesterday, but we're in the garage. If you guys want to see a full tour of this, I made a video just a uh, few months back, full garage tour with all the details and everything. Uh, I'm grabbing four S4s. We're also taking the new IR4s from both lighting out today. My first run out at an event with them, so we'll see how that works out. So yeah, if you guys don't know, we take a trailer every time. This is a 10 by 12. Hedge wall of the day, totems, base plates for totems. We got a Maui for cocktail, base plates for the pipes that are going to be doing the hedge wall. That's for my boop the led sign four up lights there ld maui 44 g2s ir4s eight unit pack in black you'll see those later audio rack we are taking the two wash movers today from both lighting and burpa and then miscellaneous hanging back there this is my wonderful backup tool chest inside the trailer it really has tarps backup cables and every tool you could ever imagine in case we run into any problems that's for colt sparks All righty, we're off. I'll check in with you guys in two and a half to three hours to get over there. Well, we've made the journey. We are now up in the mountains. Kind of see it. We're, the mountains in North Carolina, they're not too crazy. Uh, we don't have the best views here either, but you know, we are up here. This is the Homewood. I need to verify that. I think it's called the Homewood venue. It's an old historic building. They have an elevator inside though that makes it load in easy for us. There's a cool old house over here as well. But I'm gonna back the trailer around me and Gabe. We're actually here quite early and this is gonna go as to another tip that I always, always stress for you DJs out there. Show up extremely early for your events. You guys are paid to make the day happen. I don't look at these days anymore in terms of an hour commitment. It's more, I'm paid for the whole day to make sure this wedding goes off without a hitch. So for me to show up, like we don't start until I think 5.30 and it's like 2.30. The plan was to get here at like three o'clock. It was a two and a half to three hour drive. We ended up getting good timing on this and like we stopped for lunch and everything along the way. So show up at least two hours early to your events, maybe three. Again, we are hella early today, but that is beneficial to us to get things taken care of early. And then there's less stress, more time to set up and all that. Gabe's, Gabe's like, where the hell are you? I said I was just getting the truck, but you know, working on it. Loading situation. Elevator. Home, home wood. Home wood. I for some reason was thinking it was called hometown, but you know, it's home wood. But uh, we got all the stuff waiting to go up the elevator. We're literally just going one floor or two. No ceremony today, just cocktail reception. We have a hedge wall, LED sign, and uh, intelligent movers. We brought wash ones today, so. Woohoo! Study of evolution is 1933. That doesn't look anything like <laughs> this, so I don't know what that is. Time lapse to get set up. We're doing totems, speakers, and all that, and we'll go over all the gear. Once again, once it's all set up. All set up, heading to Cocktail. Very cool venue, very cool. So that is our hedge wall. We're about to put their custom LED sign on it now. That is not our like selfie station or whatnot. They're, they're doing that, but we're just doing the LED sign and hedge wall. And for you guys that don't know, fishing line and these clips right here, that's how we hook it onto the top of our pipe and drape stuff.
All right, all set up. Now the sign is incredibly bright right now. I have to go get the AAA batteries for our LED sign. So that way we can dim this because that is extremely overpowering for any camera shots. You kind of see it better there. There you go. All right, everyone checking in before I go get changed. Um, they're starting ceremony, but like I mentioned, we're not doing anything for ceremony, but we'll try and go get some clips. <clears throat> they have live instruments playing ceremony, but let's take a look at all of the gear behind me real quick before we get into today's event. So I got all the lights shut off right now. Um, I'll click a button on the sound switch to show you guys all the lights, but the setup is pretty much our normal. We got the LD Systems Maui 44 G2s all set, ready to go on both sides. We have our custom DJ furniture booth that I built myself, the Pioneer S9 Rain 12s, Gen 1, all set, ready to go. Custom LED neon sign on the front, just a nice little touch. We do have our Global Trust totems with scrims. Up top, these are the both lighting wash movers. They are wash zoom movers. They're, they're all functioning right now over there. Let me kick these lights on real quick. Running a Serato and then a sound switch is running in the background. Sound switch being controlled down here. So I have it on blackout right now, but we can turn it off black off and go to Let's see here, what do we wanna to go to? There we go, we got some color. I'll play some music in the background so that way the lights are doing things. And there we go, so the lights are doing things. Again, these are the both lighting wash movers. We'll let that head come around here to show you guys what it is, but it's basically a giant par moving head. And the reason why we're using those today instead of like these spots that I have is because we do not have any atmosphere in this venue. And I was mentioning this in the mover video, so go check out that video that goes over the BH or the MH150 spots from both lighting and the wash movers and talk about how if we don't have haze or atmosphere, it's better to use these because we're gonna get better coverage and better effect. So yeah, two totems, two wash movers. And then we don't have we don't have up lighting today, but we did bring along like 12 up lights. We just kind of put them around the booth and we did put a couple back in the corners as well, but we did not charge for up lighting today. We're just trying out some of the new lights we got. And those would be these little guys right here. These are the IR4s from both lighting. They look sick. They're running on wireless DMX because they have a full control screen right there. And we have those pretty much everywhere. These are the only two uh, S4s. We brought them as well, both lighting S4s. But the rest of the lights, they're there down in the corners. Those are all the new IR4s from both lighting and they are super tiny. I mean, look at that thing. We just can tuck them in wherever we want, it's crazy. But those are set up and ready to go for our lighting today other than the wash movers. In a back rack world, we do have the standard setup, Yamaha MG12 mixer board feeding all of our audio, firm and power strip, DBX drive rack PA2 for audio controls, and two audio technical wireless microphones, all in our custom made rack, audio rack that makes things super easy to set up iPad set up, got the DMX or the DBX driver pulled up right there. So I'm waiting on Gabe, he's getting changed first. Let me take you guys over to the cocktail room. Let me grab an aux cable. We're gonna hook up the laptop to be able to run our cocktail hour. So in here we have the LED sign on the hedge wall. I still gotta go get the batteries for the remote and the Maui 5 in the corner for our audio. All right, so this, this sun is super bright behind us, but uh, me and Gabe just going over how we're gonna run introductions today. Just make sure we're all on cue for how we're gonna cue in the different songs. Another recommendation for you guys, I'm gonna try to give some nuggets throughout this video, but if you are working in a two-person team or just in a single-person team, go through and rehearse your introduction. Now, if cocktail is in the same part as the reception, you're gonna need to do that early on, but in our case, the cocktail is over there and reception is separate, so we have time to go over, make sure we're on cue for everything we're about to do. I'm about to crack open a bang to get my caffeine levels at the highest point, so I'm all hyped and ready to go, and uh, we're gonna rock it out, so stay tuned. We got the GoPro today so that we can capture some awesome footage today. Harry Potter vibes, anybody? Pretty cool. All right, dipping behind the facade real quick to give you guys an update. We just did uh, introductions, and I'm not gonna lie, you can't tell by the hand. A little bit of nerves today. Not trying to give that off, but you know, I like being honest to you guys on the back end. A little nerves on doing the introduction. It's been a minute. And uh, to add on top of that, you know, if you if you didn't know from the get-go, today's wedding is uh, two guys, so we do have a uh, gay wedding today. Um, and you know, there's little things, you know, I'm used to saying in my script where I gotta avoid that today. A little nerves, but it's all good. So just know, even myself, I get nervous for introductions sometimes. It does happen, it's natural. You just gotta power through and do it. Check back in with you guys after dinner when we jump into toast, cake cutting, and on from there. All right, all right, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, welcome, 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 welcome. Oh, welcome, welcome to Homewood Estates tonight. 
Tonight is for our wedding reception. We're going to be celebrating Darnell and Matt tonight. By a show of hands and a lot of noise, it's table one ready to get the celebration started this evening. Table two, you're the one.
Give it up for Matt Darnell. Give it up one second. Give it up. Hello, everyone. Um, what? A party. Oh, I need to shut the GoPro up. Hi, GoPro. For you guys wondering how we get those shots, I'll link this down below, but this is a lighting tripod. It literally goes 10 feet in the air. And on top of it here, it's also hydraulic, so it slowly comes down. Shout out, DJ Bar is the one that put me onto this. This is a anchor battery, and we have a GoPro mount on the bottom and a GoPro mount on the top, and the GoPro is hooked up. And then the battery keeps the GoPro charged at all times. And then we have 128 uh, gigabyte SD card in here so we can record for seven hours straight. So there's a little insight as to how we get those shots for you guys. And again, shout out to my boy DJ Barr. He's the one that uh, showed me how to do that originally, but we actually upgraded. We were using like a seven foot tripod and I saw this lighting stand. One of the photographers we were working with had it for her lights and it was like all the way up in the air and it was like super sturdy. I was like, what is that? And she sent me the Amazon link and I'll put the Amazon link down below for you guys, but you put any camera you want on it. So we're gonna break down though. Well, we're already started, but we're breaking down. IR4s worked out beautifully all around the room and yeah, time lapse of us breaking down. So it's 10.39, we have everything broken down uh, like five times over, like everything stacked up, ready to go. We just gotta work our way down the elevator with two loads. We took three loads on the way up, but we got it down to two. Down the elevator and right out here. So I'm gonna go get the truck and trailer, which is over there, and uh, bring it back. All right, I'm gonna end the vlog now so I don't have to do it later. Um, this was a very fun one. We had a blast. Gabe, any? any? I'm back, strict's back, baby. Yeah, Gabe is like my good luck charm, except for like a couple weddings that we're not gonna talk about. Um, <laughs> but literally like every wedding he's in my assistant is like lit, and he just did uh, one with uh, Marcellus last week and it was lit. Why are they climbing in the back of that truck? They're lit. There are people climbing in the back of this truck that are heading to the bar downtown. Anyways, it's lit, they're having fun, they had a blast. If you guys didn't already, uh, at this point in the video, if you guys are still watching, hashtag squad in the comments, put hashtag squad in the comments so I know who the real viewers are. Like the video, comment down below squad if you're watching this point, and I will see you guys in the next one. So peace out, keep them records spinning, peace, goodbye. Gabe, you wanna hit the camera?